Something strange is occurring on the surface of Beetlejuice, Orion's red supergiant, as it approaches its demise. The star gained attention in December 2019 when it unexpectedly began dimming, reaching a historic low in brightness by February 2020, a phenomenon later termed the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse. Although it eventually regained its usual brightness, astronomers were intrigued and aimed powerful telescopes towards it, revealing astonishing findings. The star's surface is boiling, creating a cosmic illusion. Betelgeuse is a significant celestial object, one of the most captivating stars in the night sky. Born in a stellar nebula, it spent 90% of its life in the main sequence phase, converting hydrogen into helium in its core. However, due to its mass, about 15 times that of the Sun, it followed a unique evolutionary path, becoming a red supergiant instead of a typical red giant like Sun-like stars. Betelgeuse has captivated the attention of astronomers worldwide. Observing a star in its final evolutionary stage with the naked eye is a rare opportunity, making Betelgeuse a valuable laboratory for understanding the processes leading to one of the most violent stellar events, a supernova. The last significant supernova observed in the Milky Way was Kepler's supernova in 1604. Since then, no other supernova has been visible within the naked eye limit. Therefore, any event concerning Betelgeuse garners significant attention. Even as Betelgeuse's brightness diminished, astronomers speculated that this behavior might be a precursor to an impending supernova explosion. To investigate further, they utilized the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, to closely monitor the supergiant. Observations from ALMA revealed that the dying star appears to be spinning rapidly, exceeding speeds predicted by current laws of physics. This discovery raised questions. Why does Betelgeuse seem to be spinning faster than other stars of its age? Is this rapid rotation a sign of an impending supernova? The first indication of something unusual happening with Betelgeuse came from the surface radial velocity map provided by ALMA. This map visually represents the speed at which different parts of the star move towards or away from an observer, using colors to indicate speed and direction. ALMA's observations revealed that one half of the star's visible hemisphere was blue-shifted, indicating movement towards us, while the other half was red-shifted, suggesting movement away. These data were crucial in accurately measuring the star's rotational velocity. When compared with observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, it was confirmed that Betelgeuse was indeed rotating rapidly. There are theories suggesting that this high rotation rate might be explained by Betelgeuse once being part of a binary system where it absorbed a lower mass companion star, a process sometimes referred to as celestial cannibalism. While this phenomenon is not uncommon among red supergiants, it sheds light on Betelgeuse's unique evolutionary history. There's no conclusive evidence of this in Betelgeuse's case. However, if Betelgeuse evolved as a single star, its fast rotation surprisingly deviates from predictions. To understand why the fast rotation of Betelgeuse is problematic, we need to comprehend the sheer size of the star. Betelgeuse is 15 times more massive and about 1,000 times larger in diameter than our Sun. If it were in the place of the Sun, it would stretch out to engulf the Earth and extend all the way to Jupiter's orbit. Moreover, Betelgeuse is no longer a main sequence star like the Sun. It has evolved into a red supergiant. As stars like Betelgeuse age and cool, they expand according to the principle of conservation of angular momentum. This expansion should cause their rotation to slow down. Additionally, they lose mass through stellar winds, which also contributes to a decrease in their rotational speed. Current theories suggest that red giants should rotate at speeds around 1 km second, and red supergiants like Betelgeuse at even slower speeds, typically less than 0.1 km second.
yet Betelgeuse defies these expectations by rotating at 5 km per second, which is 50 times faster than what is typical for stars in its category. To solve the mystery of Betelgeuse's unexpectedly high rotation speed, further investigation is required. Astronomers had to confirm whether the rotation they observed was real or just an error in measurement. They considered the possibility that other activities on the star's surface could be misleadingly interpreted as rotational movement. To delve deeper into this issue, astronomers utilized the ALMA telescope, comprising 66 individual antennas of various sizes and is one of the most advanced radio telescopes in operation today. Using ALMA's capability to observe sub-millimeter wavelengths of light, Astronomers examined the hot gas in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. The researchers aimed to find out if Betelgeuse's rapid rotation was actually being mistaken for something else happening on its surface. They suggested that what might be going on is a process called convective flow, which is how stars like Betelgeuse move heat around. In convection, hot material rises to the star's surface because it's lighter, while cooler, heavier material sinks. This creates big, swirling patterns known as convective cells that look like giant boiling bubbles. By studying these patterns, astronomers hoped to clarify whether Betelgeuse's rotation was indeed as rapid as initially observed, or if it was a result of convective activity. These patterns can extend from the star's outer layer deep towards its core. The team theorized that these boiling bubbles might be creating an illusion of rotation, with one group of bubbles rising on one side of the surface and another group sinking on the opposite side, making it look like the star is spinning. This movement could explain the blue-shifted and red-shifted regions observed in ALMA's maps. To test their idea, the researchers created a computer model of a non-spinning red supergiant star with a boiling surface similar to Betelgeuse. They compared the model's behavior with actual observations from the ALMA telescope. Surprisingly, the simulated star and the real observations matched up perfectly. This confirmed their theory that it's not fast spinning we're seeing on Betelgeuse, but instead, it's the surface bubbling up like a pot of boiling water. This bubbling effect is so strong that even the most advanced telescope can't distinguish it from the star actually spinning. For instance, the great dimming episode almost four years ago was finally explained by the theory that the star had expelled a large amount of hot gas. As this gas cooled outside the star, it formed dust that temporarily blocked some of the supergiant's light, making it appear dimmer from Earth. In 2023, Betelgeuse exhibited another strange behavior. Its brightness increased by about 50%. Initially, astronomers thought this might be a precursor to a supernova explosion. However, further analysis revealed that this was actually a lingering effect of the 2020 Great Dimming. The massive release of dust and gas during that event disrupted Betelgeuse's normal cycles of brightness, which usually include cycles lasting 400 days, 185 days, 230 days, and even as long as 2100 days. The disturbance from the Great Dimming specifically altered the 400-day cycle, shortening it to just 200 days and causing an unexpected increase in brightness. Predicting when Betelgeuse will go supernova is a complex task, given its unpredictable behavior. Determining Betelgeuse's exact stage in the stellar life cycle is challenging for scientists. They need to know whether Betelgeuse is in the helium burning phase or the carbon burning phase, as the timing of the supernova largely depends on this. At 550 light years away, we are at a prime vantage point to witness this cosmic spectacle. When a supernova does occur, the first clue would likely be a surge of neutrinos, tiny particles emitted in vast quantities during a supernova explosion. The Supernova Early Warning System, 
Snooze, uses a network of neutrino detectors to look for these early signs. Following the neutrino burst, a supernova would release a tremendous amount of energy, becoming so bright that it could be visible during the day for about two to three months before gradually fading. Although a Betelgeuse supernova would be a spectacular sight and pose no danger from its distance, it would leave a noticeable change in our night sky. Betelgeuse serves as one of the shoulders in the constellation of Orion, and its loss would mean Orion would appear to be missing a shoulder. With the remnant of the explosion not visible to the naked eye, many people ask whether we can study Betelgeuse using the James Webb Space Telescope and predict its supernova accurately. However, the answer is no. While the James Webb Space Telescope is extremely powerful, it is not suitable for observing Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is about 1,500 times brighter for the sensitive detectors of JWST, so we can't use it to predict the star's accurate evolutionary stage. If you learn new things from this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel.